Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not the crew pack is actually still worth it an entire year later. Because yeah, we've had the crew pack for over an entire year at this point, so I want to go back and evaluate whether or not the crew pack really is still worth it. But of course, before we get in the video, if you guys enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supporter creator code Ben Dominator in the Fortnite item shop, hashtag ad. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So, Fortnite did recently announce their most recent crew pack for January, which is the Snow Stealth Sloan skin, and honestly, I'm just not really a huge fan of this skin, and overall, when it comes to the crew pack, I haven't really been a fan of most of the crew pack skins in general. I feel like this first year of crew pack skins has been kind of underwhelming, I don't think there's really been that many standout skins. And when it comes to skins that I do like, there are a few, such as the Burning Wolf skin and the V skin, but I don't really end up using those skins much either, so it just feels like a lot of the crew skins have been kind of disappointing, which has kind of been my main problem with the crew the past year. I was kind of hoping that the Fortnite crew would bring some of Fortnite's best skin designs, but so far most of the crew pack skins just have not impressed me very much. When the crew pack was first announced, I was thinking a lot of these skins would be like battle pass skins, some of Fortnite's best designs that they have to offer. Because with the battle pass, it seems like they really try to make the best skins they possibly can so that they can sell as many people on the battle pass as possible. So when I see the crew pack and it seems like these skins aren't as well made as the battle pass ones, at least in my opinion, and even some item shop skins, it just feels weird. A lot of these skins feel like starter pack skins. And what I mean by that is that I feel like a lot of these skins have kind of cool concepts behind them, but they don't have enough detail or cool design elements to make them work. Like, just for example, take a look at the most recent crew pack that we're going to be getting in January. In my opinion, the Snow Stealth Sloan skin is a really cool concept for a skin. It makes sense with the storyline, it goes along with the Sloan character, but the design of the outfit itself is just so bland to me. The colors don't really work for me, the outfit doesn't really work for me. It feels like there's a lot of details missing, so it ends up feeling very cheap much like a starter pack skin would. And there are plenty of other crew pack skins that feel like this to me, including Deimos, Lombro, Green Arrow, and much more. And like I said before, not all crew skins are bad, not every single crew pack is terrible, but when the majority of them don't land for me, does it even feel worth it to invest in the crew pack anymore? Well, something that we gotta remember is that skins aren't the only thing that the crew pack has to offer. With pretty much every crew pack, you also get a pickaxe, a back bling, and wrap. And for me personally, these cosmetics are usually the best parts of the crew pack, especially the wraps and pickaxes. And along with that, you also get a thousand V-Bucks and the battle pass for free. Which also gives you the extra benefit of getting an extra 950 V-Bucks each season, assuming that you actually finish the battle pass, because most people spend that 950 V-Bucks you get from the battle pass on the next one, to only have a few hundred left over for the next season. But of course with the crew pack, when you get the battle pass for free, you can actually use those 950 V-Bucks that you would have spent on next season's battle pass for items in the item shop. So yeah, for 12 US dollars a month, I think that's still pretty dang good. But I am still sad to say that the skins themselves just really don't sell me on the crew pack. It's really all the other things that hold it up for me. Like, if it wasn't for the V-Bucks or the free battle pass or some of the cool wraps and pickaxes, would I be investing in the crew pack? Probably not. And I think that might be the main reason why a lot of these crew packs feel underwhelming. Because the skin is only one small part of it. There's much more to the crew pack than just the skins. So Fortnite knows that they can sell you on a crew pack even if the skins aren't necessarily that great. Or maybe I'm the only person who thinks a lot of these skins aren't that great. Maybe everyone else thinks that all these skins are amazing and will buy them for the skins regardless. I'm not really sure. What is your guys' opinion on the crew pack? Do you guys agree with me that a lot of these skins are underwhelming? or do you find yourself enjoying most of the crew pack skins that Fortnite puts out? I'd honestly love to know, so be sure to leave a comment letting me know. So yeah, overall, while I do feel like a lot of the crew skins are underwhelming, the other things that hold the crew pack up, such as the V-Bucks, free battle pass, pickaxes and wraps, all make it so that the crew pack overall is worth it, in my opinion. Though, I will say I would like to see a bit of an increase in the quality of these skins, but maybe that's just me. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're a brand new, because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supporter creator code BenDominator in the item shop hashtag ad. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.